This is Data Specialist Sanders of the Ongoing Data Redundancy Project. SCP-221, Object Class is Safe, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-221 is to be kept in a locked container where it cannot be removed except for further testing by Security Clearance Level 2 personnel. The container is a 15.25 cm by 15.25 cm steel box with a cushioned interior with an internal locking system. The container is to be placed in a locked room with a guard to ensure that SCP-221 is not taken. Description SCP-221 is a pair of tweezers made out of gold, made in the 16th or 17th century. After subject testing, it was noted that the damaged areas which had been used to gather material samples were smaller than they had been prior to the test. It is currently theorized that SCP-221 uses the minute amounts of gold in the human body to regenerate damage to itself. Subject testing revealed that SCP-221 creates a highly focused case of obsessive-compulsive disorder in any person which uses it on their own body. Subjects will utilize SCP-221 to slowly remove any and all hair from their body, before removing finger and toenails, as well as teeth, culminating with the removal of organs, both the external, such as the eyes and skin, and the internal, such as the liver and pancreas, using their hands if SCP-221 is not effective though SCP-221 will never be set aside during this process and remains gripped in one of the subject's hands. If SCP-221 is taken away from the subject, they become violent and manic and will use their hands to continue the process, albeit in a less careful manner. It is to be noted that the progression of this behavior is different for each subject, but no less fatal. SCP-221 came into Foundation possession after reports of a human being who was data expunged. Foundation personnel retrieved SCP-221 within 10 hours of the original report. Addendum. Test Log 221-1. The test subject, a Class D, was ordered to use SCP-221 to remove his eyebrow hair. While the subject was initially unenthusiastic about his task, after the first 10 minutes he began to more actively pluck out his own eyebrow hair, and after completely denuding his brow, moved on to plucking out his eyelashes, despite repeated assertions that the test was over. When released, after SCP-221 was taken out of the room, he began to pluck out his eyelashes with his own fingers, completely removing all of them before moving on to his toenails. The subject completely removed his toe and fingernails before yelling and smashing his own face against a wall. The reason for this outburst became apparent when he reached into his mouth and began ripping out his now loosened teeth. Eventually, the subject died from blood loss and shock, halfway through the task of pulling out his own internal organs. Test Log 221-2 The test subjects were two Class D personnel. Test Subject 1 ordered to use SCP-221 on the other Class D, Test Subject 2. After 15 minutes, the test subjects began to argue about how the holder of SCP-221 was using it on the other. The test subjects began to fight for use of SCP-221. Test Subject 1 used SCP-221 to stab Test Subject 2 through the eye, piercing into the brain, immediately killing him. Test Subject 1 began to use SCP-221 to remove his own eyelashes, continuing to his teeth and eyes. Test Subject 1 died of blood loss after removing 73% of the skin on his body.